Always here. Hi guys! Do you want to know guys are there yet? Hi girl! Alright, we have pressed the button. Hi Joe! Hi Joe! Alright, woo! Alright, hi Kiki! Hello everybody! Welcome to the early crew! Early crew! Where's the That them? is you! Oh, Lady B Mixology here on the early crew! Uh, woo. We are back and in business, people! We are back and in business! Woo, 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 woo. What, we have, what you have today? Okay, so she has infused cucumba, rosemary, mint, and lychee in tequila. Ooh! Yeah! I think I should have a sip. I think you should too. It's really good. Ooh, my finger is stuck. Anushka is here. Oh, Anushka, you return. Booyaka, booyaka, shabba rankings. That is, uh, ooh. It's nice. Not Very too sweet. Nice. It has like a natural sweetness. It's tequila, so you know I'm going to have that punch later Dude, on. Dude, that drink tastes it's really like good. fun. Ooh, that's fun. Fun in a bag. Fun that in a bag. Like Link fun. Lady Mixology can get fun in a bag. No, that one is fun. Tiffany says, save me some. All right, guys, so we have we have something very special planned for you today. Oh, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a special shout out. Mm -hmm. Scott asked me to give a special shout out to two girls, Tiffany and Tracy. I want to shout you guys out and big you up, Ray. Isn't that crazy? Tiffany, Tiffany and Tracy. Tracy. I was like, he wants to big up you and Tiffany a tweet. No, it's his friends. You are his friends. No, it was Scott some, is tricking you. No, it was some other people. Oh my gosh. That did some work with. Oh, guy in the house. Ah, Kayla is here. Hi, guys. Thank you, guys. Guys, we have uploaded some... Well, I have uploaded some new videos over on my YouTube channel. She's still on maternity leave. Like, lazy, lazy, lazy. I haven't even been to the supermarket. I just find that when you're sitting on breastfeeding, you could give us a little story or a little something, you know? With my breast out? When I'm, I'm sorry, I, I find that they all saw your breasts on, on um, Welcome Home Stevie, which you could check out over on my YouTube channel. It's now mine only because, you know. Um, I soon come take it back. <laughs> Tracy needs to cook something. Tracy, yeah, get to cooking. Jody says get to cooking. Okay, I have to go to the supermarket though, Joe. I haven't been to the supermarket. So guys, we have a... Special guest today. It's okay, Joe. All right, all right. Don't get too much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys know, you know, you know, you know that I love spice. I love spice. I love spice. So today I have spice on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and I love spice. Spice is my girl. Spice are you my love? Yeah, my girl. I love spice. I'm in my grassy noir. I love, love, love spice. Full yes. supporter, full supporter. Yes, I am here. I love my girl. I have the makeup brushes. Yeah. I have, you the, know what? I do have suit. a I have the suits. I have about four. Tracy comes today. She's like, how many of those you have? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So, we are going to have a special segment here today, right? And it's called 10 Questions with Spice. Spice of your life! <laughs> Spice doesn't sing Spice Up Your Life. That's the Spice Girls. Yeah, but I'm sure Spice loves Spice Girls. I don't, who, who doesn't like Spice Girls? You have to. Love they, Spice Girls. I mean, okay. imagine, imagine Spice Girls, Lady B Mixology, Fun in the Back, and Spice all in one room. I can't. I can't. That's too much. That's, that's too much. Right? Yeah, too much. Like too everything much. you ever loved in one room. So we have a special feature today. We have 10 questions with Spice. And why 10 questions? Spice's album is coming out on July 30th. And her album is called 10. For those of you who did not see the visuals and how the album look, um, <laughs> welcome from Under the Rock. So you can check that out on her page. And we are going to, I think, somebody needs to be breastfed? Yes. Oh, it's also titty time! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. So we have some really cool questions for Spice and we kind of put some thought into it because I didn't want it to be the regular, regular questions. Oh Lord, how you add somebody now? Mm. Um. Mommy. Oh, you wouldn't know. No, you wouldn't know. How do you? No, nope, not a filter. Oh dear Lord. What do I press? No, nope, no, nope, not that. How do I see my requests? Push the camera. 
No, that's not it. What camera? Hey, invite to join. All right. Titi Monster is here also. If you can't hear her. I wanted to put a voice note of, of um, Stevie eating the other day up on my Instagram because it's really crazy that it's put in the search item. I did. Is she on? No. Oh my. Spice Official Gang is here. Oh my. She'll be here soon. She'll Spice be here soon. This to be, you know. She'll be here soon. Spice will be here soon. Yeah. yeah. All right, no problem. Okay. No, no, no. So anyway, Hold I wanted to put a, a, um, a voice note of Stevie eating the other day on the Instagram because she's so loud. She's on, she's on. She's so crazy. See right here. Yeah, I mean. Where? I don't know what to press. I'm so sorry. Oh, see a thing here? Yes. I'm not seeing. What is I happening? don't think she's on yet. Well, I don't think she's on because she would have come up. Right? Joe. What? You're being a real old person right now. I'm not being an old person. I'm trying to concentrate on giving nipple in this girl's mouth. Wow, why do I have to say it like that? Yeah, I don't see her on yet. Hold on. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so, the the before we... Yeah. Since Spice is an Anya, I will talk about what I wanted to actually... Um. Talk to you guys about on a different note, on a different day. And that is going to be exercises to do after you've had your baby because a lot of people after they've had their babies it's sticking on i don't know why tracy come here in a dress mm. i think she needs a break a little bit more. Uh oh I'm not seeing, no, I'm not seeing Spice is not on. Maybe I should. You said you would call the inventor. I never. Okay. All right. I just messaged her. Okay. Whoa. Let me just put back my got milk nice, is dripping. Just got a nice burp. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, so I was speaking to somebody today. She's actually my old roommate from university, right? And she had a baby and she's a fitness instructor. And she says nobody told her because after she had her baby, she went straight into exercising. And she's like, what happened is that when you have your baby, as you guys all know from being on this show most of the time, your diastasis opens, your diastasis recti. And she's like, when you have your baby and you go straight back into exercising at the six weeks, sometimes your diastasis doesn't close back. And what happens is you get a pouch on your belly. Spice has to request. Spice, we waited on you. Send a request. Or your diastasis opens more. So it makes your belly look like you're three months pregnant constantly. So she's like, there's special exercises that you can do at the six weeks mark once you've gotten your clearance from your doctor to close back your diastasis recti. And it's a 10 week long program that she offers and you close back your diastasis recti and then after that you are ready to go straight into your strength training your spinning or whatever you have to do so her name is jen and um and i'm actually going to sign up for her program for her 10 week long program because i'm ready to get back my flat belly and i don't want diastasis recti I like myself all right all right i just called her i just called her she's see. going to so i'm getting ready before she comes all right i'm going to start out with stevie one more time don't cry, Joe. She's soon reach. Pretend it. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. No, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, Spice is coming. Spice is on her way. Spice is coming. Oh, somebody said Tracy, stop talking. Whew. All right, I'm waiting on Spice. I'm waiting on Spice. I'm waiting on Spice. Spice is my girl. Spice. Spice, let me see. Spice, if she log on. Spice. 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 So, now you're gonna fool around. Wait, who's 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 who's
who's, who's requesting? No, no, no. Sir, sir, not your time. <sighs> okay, all right. She wants the spice. Nope, nope. Uh, Let me fix chocolate sandwiches. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So I think it is such a good idea to do this because I've spoken to a lot of people who have had babies. There's a lot of people in this group who've had babies and stuff like that. So um, I think it's good information to share because you know we live on an island and nobody wants bang belly. I really want some banana fritters though. I'm not going to lie. Like you know banana fritters that my mommy makes with the sugar on top. <laughs> yeah. You know. I think maybe spice is finishing up on a call. I guess maybe you could use a, a type of spice on top of the banana if it was like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't concentrate, you know. Oh. <laughs> we just say I'm not getting tracing no mind. I've been actually. Anyway. <gasps> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hi, Ordered by Jody, and I really appreciate it. Oh, nice. it's good quality, you know. It's yes. invested, real good, real, real, real good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying earlier, your album comes out on July 30th, and the album is called 10. So today we want to do 10 questions with Spice. So, okay. first of all, I have to ask you Are there 10 tracks on the album? Why did you call the album 10? I wanted 10 tracks, but they wanted more. It was difficult to pick the songs, but I called it 10 to mark the, the, the number of years that my fans have been waiting for this album. So a lot of people don't know or didn't even realize because I've been putting out so many hits throughout the years, they don't realize that I've never put out an album. So I've signed to VP Records for 10 years now, and this is the first... I'm sorry, I was getting a call. Tell me I'm calling you. <laughs> so you're signed to DP Records and this is your first album this is my first album so within 10 years um, I've signed to them this is the first album we're putting out together so I just wanted to remember the mark of 10 years because I've done so much right. throughout the 10 years you think you really put a fire under their tail the other day because I, I saw you got into a little tiff about um, you know VP Records you think that put a fire under their tail I mean, it did. I'm a fan to put a fire under them tail too because when I posted what was happening to me, because I've been silent about it for a number of years. But when I came out and was say, I was like, no, I'm tired for fans to ask when the album, when the album. I just openly put out what was happening and my fans also put fire right. under them tail. But thanks to Shaggy, he was the one who kind of mended the relationship. And he's also okay. the executive producer for the album. So that's all the big song come together. Mm, go down, go right. right down, go down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I really like that song. <laughs> okay, so what made you choose your signature blue hair color over any other hair color? Jody, me and you know, say I'm the only human alive that was born in blue hair. Yeah, oh, true, true. Everybody true. know that, 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 that that's recorded. Like I was the only baby that was born on August the 6th with blue hair. So that leads to another question now. Anywhere else have blue hair? Little bit down there. <laughs> Little bit down <laughs> Little bit, bit down there. In between, you know, right, the fluffy right. parts. All right. <laughs> Which one of your songs do you think is the most underrated? The most underrated? Whoa, that's a hard one. Um, underrated. Nobody never asked me that yet, Jody. Where you get them questions yet? No, my, I don't think, think you understand. You know, I sat down, you know, and I said, I don't want to ask the regular questions. I don't want the fans to log on and just be hearing the same thing over and over and over again. So I really put a little thought into this. Underrated, I could say, um, maybe Black Hypocrisy could have done better on a global scale. Right, right. Um, I feel like 
even though I felt like the message was so globally received, the song itself could have been done, you know, bigger. Do you think it's because it was such a controversial topic that people kind of shied yes, away? Yes, and that's, what I, that's also what I wanted to say. It was such a... That, that topic has been swept under the rug for so many years. So for me to come out boldly and talk about a topic that, you know, a lot of people shy away from, that's also right. something, you know, that kind of contributed to that. So I would say that. Okay. Now, other than your phone, what must-have item do you walk with daily? Can't leave home without you. Turn back and get it. The charger. <laughs> <laughs> The charger for the phone. Because we can't live without the phone. You see, the charger is very important. True, true, true. Yeah, true. work without the charger. Okay, you are undisputedly the queen of the dance hall. Yeah, girl. Yeah, Thank girl. you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> no, you've come a long way. You've, you know, no fights, you know, no tribulations, no ray, 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 ray. Do you ever look at anybody now and send message for them to be like, yeah, what now, bitch? I'm on top. Wooly for them. I oh. them feel like we couldn't make it. What wooly for them? <laughs> um, to be honest, I cost people in them DM. Yeah. So enough time, I see like a cussing, I go around with spice, go to the DM, go cuss them. It's really me. Because I've grown so much, but there's people out there who feel like you couldn't make it and you couldn't reach this far, you couldn't do this. So sometimes I see them comment instead of to answer them on the feed where everybody I go see. But just going at them DM and say, bitch, let me tell you this. <laughs> Member say, I'm just read it, give them right this song. So I do post okay. a lot of people in their DM. Okay, Tracy, what's your last question? I can't really Oh, that. okay. <laughs> so, Spice, I'm Jody's sister. I'm Tricky. Hi. I'm Jody's sister. I want to feel like twin body now. I want to look, look alike. <laughs> um, so, you're such a busy lady, Spice. You have your makeup line, you have your makeup brushes, you have your track suits and your clothing line, Grassy Noir. I mean, you're really doing it up. You have your charity foundation. Um, you, you just have so much going on for you. Thank when you. do you find time to relax and what do you do to relax? Like, what is your ultimate relaxation mode? Your mom as well, and that's a full-time job. So you have so much going on. You know, I started crying the other day, like real tears because of how tired I was. I don't relax. Yeah. I never, I don't, I hardly relax. So, you know, even when I, I'm not physically, like I don't have something to do, I find something to do. So even mm. if I'm in the bed, even for a minute, I'm working, I'm researching, I'm reading up on something. Like yeah. I'm always, you know, working. So I'm never that relaxed person. And I tell people all the time, my past has a lot to do with how I work. Because, you know, I'm in, a re I'm in a relationship right now. And sometimes like he would say, Lord Jesus, I'm put on the phone. But it's like me just so eager to just keep rising and keep, you know, going up. I just, I'm just addicted to working. I am, I'm addicted. And so yeah. I don't normally relax. I'm always on the go, always doing something, always thinking of something, always creating an idea, always trying to add to whether Grasse Noir, Faces and Laces, the Spice the Artist, or thinking about the kids. There's so many different elements to my life that I always have to delegate time to. You have so such a great work ethic work ethic that I think that really does contribute to you being so successful as well. Thank you. Okay, so hold on now. So I see that Kim Kardashian, she did the tracksuit line for the American Olympic team. Spice, why you said Jamaica? I need to, I need to do, I need yes. to do that. Yes. Yes. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's a good okay. one, but definitely. So I'm looking forward to this segment of the show. Pretend that I am a blind white woman with no arm, with no with rhythm, right? Because we're also filming for my YouTube. So you can't show me. You have to describe to me. How do I go down there? I, uh, All right. So you are blind? blind? Yes. So I can't look up at you and see what you're telling me to do. Okay. All right. So go on your knees. What side? Open your hand like a C. Make a C with one of your hand. And put it, bow your head as if you're saying yes. My money is ready! My money is ready! <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. That, that was a chance. 
In slow motion. Yes, that's it. Keep moving the waist in circles. Look behind, you Look behind you like you're looking at your back. Attitude. Yes. Make up your face, Jody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right there. So go lower now all the way to the floor. Keep going and keep your waist in circles. Go down there. Why not go down there? Jody, you know exactly what to do. Yes. <laughs> 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 thank, thank you so much for your time we really appreciate it we know that you're a very busy woman with lots going on we just want to say thank, thank you so much you. for giving us some of your time and i will definitely definitely buy my album on july 30th and i need thank to sign you. it for me because i'm a big fan I a yes <laughs> i believe you you've always <laughs> been so supportive thank you so much for the support the album drops on july the 30th so i'm telling everybody don't just go on YouTube, buy the album, support really? it the real way. And then my right. birthday is on August 6th, so I want to wake up on the 6th of August and celebrate a great success of my album. Aww. So support the album the real way. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Our Jamaican artists on stage performing like I feel like I feel like they should be the ambassadors for our country like they should have the oh, special absolutely. passport they should be the ministers you know what I mean like honestly absolutely. and I do think that they go underrated and you know it goes back into um I think it was Lisa Hanna that had once had that whole entire debate or whatever where she said that our musicians mm -hmm. don't get enough considering that that is what jamaica is known for yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. our athletes and our musicians they are our ministers they are our ambassadors and they should be treated as such speaking of athletes what do you think about this american girl shari and the weed smoking thing um okay she's young so and you guys tell us what you think about shari and the weed smoking thing too Apparently, she was very devastated from the death of one of her family members. I think it was her mom or dad or something. Like yeah, but and also, I find that many her biological mother. She lived with her grandmother. And she lived with her grandmother. So she took a weed stick and she smoked it. And so I find that other runners have been through traumatic experiences too. And they just remembered their long-term goals. 
I don't know. I find that this is a very touchy subject and can hurt a lot of people's feelings and a lot of people feel different ways. I just think that some of the comments were a little bit like, we had nothing, Jamaica had nothing to do with it and we were brought up and I just find that was really, like in such poor taste. So how are the Jamaicans passing their drug tests? You know what? Because the Jamaicans have in their mind their long-term goal, what they're reaching for, what they need to do and their discipline. And we, are not, we don't need to, we don't need to, I, I, She's young, so you know, a little back step. She'll, she has a 30 day suspension, she'll run again next year. But I just so disappointing. Yeah, you know what? I, I hear what you're saying that, um, if you know your story is over mommy's shoulder and she's staring at me, it's so funny. <laughs> she's not staring at you, she's staring at your new boobs. Oh, no. He's a milk monster's hair, but you know, um. It, she accepted the consequences so we should too and that was something thank you for mentioning that that was something that i thought was so big of her that she came out and she was like yo this happened and i'm just going to have to take it she took it on like a real champion like she was like yo i did the crime i do the time and that was something that i thought was so big of her but also to find that her tweets and stuff very indicative of a young girl and what a young girl would say mm -hmm. but i think that her very sharp um, responses are making her a little bit unlikable, you know? So anyway, I, I, it's a very um, touchy subject. It's a touchy subject and yeah. she's young and I, and I hope that she'll grow and learn from this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I hope but... that other people will be able to see and grow and learn from this because you know, it's disappointing for Shari herself. I'm sure she's disappointed she won't be able to run. I'm sure her family is disappointed, her fans are disappointed and it's disappointing. Um, so I hope that she grows and learns and other people looking on will grow and learn from this And too. realize that it don't matter if you take a little washout, it don't matter if you had... Truly, Martina said she needed a little media training. She should have yeah. bought Ray's book there, yeah. Spotlight yeah. on Me, yeah. for her media training. So. Um, but anyway, big up to all our athletes who just eat them yum and do them training and the Jamaicans. And look here. Don't take time. on Jamaican Twitter, okay? Like, honestly, do not take on Jamaican Twitter. So all the people that were writing their horrible comments, they were dealt with appropriately. And as my mom always says, you do the crime, you do the time. So um, I hope she has learned from this and, you know, better luck in the next Olympics. What else? I broke my diet. So today I'm having a Lady Bee Mixology pouch and it is cucumber, rosemary, mint and lychee infused with tequila. Oh, watch she with the panty outer door. Watch she with the panty outer door. This Mommy, what is it? This is Tiki Monster. She has come into the mix. No, she eats so loud. I know. I know, she really does. The Lord, she's sweet. She's girl. so sweet. Let me tell you. So we did um, some photos, <clears throat> her first month, it was, she was a month old when we did the photos actually. So we did the month old photos and I got them back yesterday and I shared them with the family. Can you pull one up on your phone, mom, let's show everybody? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna post it to my IG soon because- I'm gonna do a TikTok, you know, like those TikToks, I'm like, how people think I am. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm not walking behind and do something really snobby because you know, some people think mm -hmm. I'm like that. How I actually am and just give the regular eating, running after the kids with like, you know. So she's supposed to be the humble sister. The one that's like, oh, let's eat granola and talk to the elves. I'm definitely not the Everybody, sister. she's definitely not the humble sister. Okay. And it's so funny because it's not even like I know what Everybody I'm thinks I'm like this. It's like when I went to stay at that fancy hotel and the doorman wouldn't open the door. And I was like, well, I was at the This is where it's Carlton. I'm not opening the door for myself. And I'm like, Tracy. Anyway, so she sends me a picture. You saw her maternity shoot, right? Sends me pictures. This is what I want. She sends me another picture. Oh, sorry, mom. <gasps> you know, it's all. And she's like, this is what I want for Stevie. This is the shoot that I made that. You see that hoop there? So show you. You see the hoop? That's her baby Stevie. And I made that hoop from scratch. She sure did. She sure did. did. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Did it? Yes. yes. Um, spice on a stick. <laughs> She said I was really good, and she said that I asked her questions that nobody ever asked her before. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the green shoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, later. Bye, okay. shoes. Okay. Just giving um, updates. Yeah. 
So yeah, so that is Stevie's baby shoot. Baby shoot. Oh my God, these are 